Hi, today I want to show you how to do scoring and stitching in Sure Cuts a Lot using the line tool and the layers palette. What I've got here is a card shape that I pulled from my font 09 Cutups and I have it sized to make a 5x7 card. So if I want to add a score line to this, I choose my line tool, which looks like a pen here, and I'm just going to draw this I'm not going to try to put it in the right place yet. I'm going to use a, a horizontal line just as a guide because there's no way to force a line to be horizontal in sure cuts light. So I'm going to click once, try to stay on the horizontal line, come to my other edge and click a second time and then hit the return key. That's what sets the line loose. And you can see that it's there, it's the right length, but it's in the wrong place. So I'm going to go to the selection tool and I'm going to select both the line and the card shape by drawing a marquee around both of them and then I'm going to go up here to this vertical line tool and click the middle one and you'll see that it has aligned this score line to the center of my card. Okay, but we're always, always trying to get rid of these uh, solid score lines so they don't mess up our projects, but Sure cuts a lot gives us some new choices now. If I select this line and I go over to the appearance, a properties palette under appearance, and I pull down, sometimes this is hard to find, you'll see where it says line style. And then I can click on this and I can select a dashed line for my score line and you'll see there that now I have a, a dashed line. And you can play around with these different styles on different settings and see what you like, but if you want a, a dashed line that's how you do it. Sometimes what we'll want to do is we'll want to take the score line and put it on a separate layer so we can use the a turned upside down blade or, or, or just a different pressure and depth so that we cut it in a separate cut. You have to click where the image shows up and it's kind of tricky to select these uh, solid lines because they're so small. I'm going to go back to my regular solid line. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to find my layers palette. I'm going to add a layer just by clicking this button here and now with this top layer selected I'm going to go edit paste in place very important use paste in place so that the line goes back where you got it from so now I have the scoring line the score lines on one layer and the cut lines on another layer in this case the scoring line is in green and the cut line is in red and if you toggle these you can turn them on and off so what I would do in this case is I would turn off the cut layer, I would put my blade in upside down or at light pressure and depth, however I want to do the scoring. I would run this cut, then when I'm done with that I would turn this back on, turn this off, set up my blade and settings for cut, and then I would cut this. So there's two ways to score, one with the dotted lines and one with a separate layer with solid lines and using a different tool. Okay, and I can even change the names of these. So that I don't get confused. Okay, now another thing you can do is you can use these line styles with different shapes. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's go to the shape library. I'm under newborn. I'm going to click on this onesie. I'm bringing this into my scoring layer, pull up the size, I want to copy that before I do anything else, and now I'm going to show you that you can use the line styles even on an SVG or a shape, so I'm going to choose a line style that looks like stitching, and I'm going to go to my cut layer, and paste in place 
Okay, so I need to select my cut layer, and that can be very tricky to do if you if I just click here, even though the cut layer is highlighted and I move this over, you can see that I got the dotted line, not the red line, which is what I want. So um, I'll show you a little trick for that. Unsele deselect this, lock the layer that you do not want to select, and then select. And now you'll see that the red is selected. So I'll move that back in place. So that's a little trick for selecting when the two things are on top of each other. Okay, so with my cut layer selected, I want to choose a style. I want to use the shadow uh, pointy. You can try the different ones, see what you like best. That's way too big. This clicks down in 0.5 increments. That's still too big, and the zero is too small. But I can type whatever number I want in here, and I want a 0.2. That looks about right. So now you get a visual of what this is going to look like. It'll be a cutout shape with the red outline. It'll have stitching and gel pen and the green dotted outline. So when I'm ready to cut that, I would turn off my red cut line, load my gel pen, run this. Don't do not unload the paper. Go back, turn the scoring layer off, turn the cutting layer on, change from the pen to the blade very carefully without bumping the housing, and then run this cut, and then you would have the onesie cut out with the stitching uh, just to the inside of it, like, like it shows here. So there's just some interesting things you can do with the line tool and layers. I hope that helps you out. I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks a lot.